Hello, welcome to Nasdaq Umex Talks. My name is Stefan Pinter. I'm an account manager at Nasdaq Umex, responsible for our trading members uh, here in Sweden. Today, uh, we're going to talk about uh, some new possibilities to prevent unintentional trading. I'm happy to welcome uh, Head of Market Surveillance, uh, Joachim Strid, and our product expert, Anders Gren, to discuss this topic. Joachim, I thought the exchange appreciated all types of trading. Now we're talking about preventing certain trades from uh, happening. Can you help us understand uh, why this is? Well, we do like trading, of course. It's basically why we're all here. Uh, but we also have a responsibility to uphold fair and orderly trading and to safeguard the integrity of our markets where the trading takes place. And the confidence in price formation is key to our success in that area. Every member knows that uh, transactions where no change in beneficial ownership or transfer of risk takes place should be avoided. Uh, such trades should not be executed on our market and they should not update prices. We also know that our members take measures to avoid such transactions but they do from time to time unintentionally take place. And uh, we realize also that for complex trading flows, it can be a challenge to imp implement effective restrictions in this field. So what is Nasdaq Omex now doing in this space? Well, um, members have asked Nasdaq Omex to enhance the toolbox to help to prevent uh, certain internal executions to happen in the trading system. The self-trade prevention service will uh, make it possible to add parameters to the order uh, that will help uh, to prevent members' orders from matching with each other. The solution is highly flexible. The member can choose to set the functionality on a trader group or trading algorithms or target it to selected specified traders. Um, if there's a proposed trade, uh, the system may react one or both orders or if the member so desires, create a, a technical transfer transaction. This technical transfer transaction is not an exchange trade and the purpose is for the member to, to do internal allocations. Joachim, what's your opinion? Well, it is important that members take measures in this field and others to comply with regulation. And we welcome all initiatives to help members to, to comply with regulation and to mitigate their risks. I would encourage all members to review this new tool to see if it can add value to how they, uh, they um, uh, safeguard against unwanted internal transactions. I, I agree and, and the service comes uh, without no additional cost. So we, we really encourage all members to look into this new opportunity. Great. Thank you both for this very interesting conversation. More information about uh, how to be set up for the service can be found on the website below. Thank you.